Hey guys, welcome to Flights and Fabrics. I am Simire and today is a great summer day. I mean, it is the end of July and I really, really hope that you had a wonderful summer. I hope that you enjoyed the sun wherever you were. You got to travel, you got to enjoy the good food and the good drinks and the good vibe and the good mood. I am on my way to my summer vacation and I cannot wait because there is a lot that this summer is going to bring and you already know what it is. It is my wedding. And speaking of weddings, I have found the one thing that I didn't believe that was going to be possible for me to get but with God's grace and his blessings, I finally got it. So that is going to be today's topic. We are talking about shoes, wedding shoes in particular. Personally, I like to tell you a little story about how I fell in love with my wedding shoes and how I got my wedding shoes. So let's go. Okay, so uh, once upon a time, there was this shoe designer that I really, really liked. I just love Jimmy Choo. I love him. I love his designs. I think they're very playful and they're very romantic. And, you know, um, they're not just your ordinary shoe every now and then. So, I remember when Jimmy Choo designed for H&M and I was too young to really wear heels and everything. So, I didn't tap into that. Um, but I've always had a thing for his designs. Now, one day, out of nowhere, you know, going through my fashion weekly consumerism that I did, I saw this queen, this woman, wearing these shoes. And I was like, you know what? I wish, I hope that you can get these in, in white. Should I ever, ever in my life get married, these shoes are the ones that I'm going to get. And it was when she posted this picture. I don't know if you can see it properly. Yes, those are the shoes and it was of course the one and only Beyonce. Um, she posted that picture with those shoes and I was like, wow, what are those? Um, and I've been eyeing those shoes forever because I was like, where am I ever going to wear these shoes? Like, where? So I was like, should I ever get married? And they're still, you know, on the top shelf in Jimmy Choo store, I'll get them. They just spoke to me in a way. So that was back then and i wasn't even engaged or anything but i've always known like ever since i my heart just bled for jimmy Choo for those shoes particular shoes i was like should i ever get married i wear those shoes and i wear particularly jimmy Choo because he spoke to me and and years and years went by and lately i think it was what last year one of the like the the collection that was it was very pearl there was so many pearls and it was just playful and nice and cute and then I was like, I need to have this. So last year we went, my family and I went on a vacation and we ended up at the Jimmy Choo store in Cannes, I think, yeah, or Nice, I think it, it's in Cannes. And um, we went there and we had so much fun. We tried on so many shoes because I was so convinced that it was going to be Jimmy Choo and my family couldn't agree more they were like these are pretty they have pretty wedding shoes whatever whatever so we tried a lot and i finally got to try the ones that i just showed you in white because they're there and they're very popular uh wedding shoes and they told me that they're not very practical for a bride because you're going to wear the shoes the whole day and you want to feel comfortable and these shoes are anything but comfortable um but they look great and they they just cute to look at so i tried them on and i was like yeah i see what you mean um and in my mind i was like i'm going to wear my shoes the whole day because i am not to pay you know i'm not about to pay a lot of amount of money just to wear these shoes one day and that's it um so what i did was i uh, i just took a picture of a few couple of pairs and i was like okay let's go on a hunt for these or let's think about it let's brainstorm on how it's going to look at that point i hadn't found my wedding dress so everything was just yeah and then came the day i found my wedding dress and it was all like that and i was like okay i still i still need some great shoes because this 
particular dress has a really nice design that really showcases the shoes so they have to be special and I looked and I looked and I looked I even went on ASOS to find some dupes of the shoes that I really wanted and uh, they were sold out and I, I was like okay you know what as fate may have it I mean I may not have these shoes but I can just find some that looks like them right so I, I kept looking and even like went on on all these sales uh, sales stores or uh, retail stores where I can just like at least find some Jimmy shoes and mind you in January when I was getting my traditional wedding they were on sale but I couldn't afford them because obviously I was planning the the whole um, the whole ceremony so I was like no 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 not today not this time fast forward uh, this summer I was at home I was nine in the morning I was home and I was just scrolling to my Instagram and I saw this flea market that I used to attend when I was young in my teens and I still attend it every now and then when I have time on Sundays and I, I really want to go out and get some fresh air I do go to this flea market in my old neighborhood so I saw that there was this this girl who was selling out her Jimmy Choo's like a lot of Jimmy Choo's and I was like okay I don't care whether they're real or fake or whatever we're going there so I, I woke up got myself ready and my husband was like where are we going and I was like we're going to the flea market baby we're going to the free flea market and he was like of course it's Sunday blah 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 and I was like no 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 we have a specific job we're going to find these shoes right let me show you the picture that I took because I was like babe like this is the target we are going to find these shoes so the girl posted all of these pictures like all of these shoes um, and I eyed a couple of, 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 you know, Jimmy Choo's that I really wanted. Can you spot them? Anyway, so I was like, they were going. And I, you know, he understood that the thing about my husband, he's like, when I'm determined about something, he really like supports me 110% and he wants to, <laughs> he wants to get to the goal just as much as I want. Anyway, so we went there, we drove there and we got there in time and how, Luckily, it was still like early in the day because the flea markets open at 8 and closes at 2 and around it was around 11 o'clock so I was like okay maybe there's still a pair like they they should have a few that I can use for my wedding like I was praying and praying and if not faith it is faith okay I get there and before I get there, I, I can see them and my heart was just racing and I was like, I really, really, really hope that they have these shoes. So I get there and the only shoe they have left uh, on display is this one, the white one here, um, this one right here. And I was like, oh shoot. And then I tried them on and I wasn't quite satisfied, but I was like, they're white and they're kind of glittery and shiny so why not yeah I did that um, and <laughs> I tried them on I was trying to decide whether or not to buy them and the one the girl who was selling them she was like well there I I don't need all these shoes anymore so I am selling them to a very nice price and it was like 800 kronas it was it's like a hundred dollars like it was beyond this world and I was like it would be stupid not to get them even though they weren't the right shoes and then I asked them like do you have these do you do you honestly uh, have these left the ones with the pearls can you see them these ones and she said yeah but there is another girl who just you know put them aside because she wanted to come back and I was like can I please try them and then I um, I proceed to try them and I was fully in love now faith is a really good thing because then I start talking about how like I wanted these shoes for my wedding and everything and the the girl there were two females like I think it was a mother and daughter duo and the daughter was the one that were so sweet and so genuine like so so nice people um, and while I was trying them, I was like, oh, they're so pretty. And it wasn't even my size. Like, 
I am a 38, it was a 39 and a half. Um, but I was still in love. I was like, I am like, I could do anything to get my hands on these shoes, especially because they were selling them very, very cheap. And they were like, you can get two for the price of one or something like that. And I was like, yeah. Mm. And I really like, I was really, really thinking. And then the mother, I think she could see on me that I was just like, I was just hungry for these shoes. So what she did was she was like, well, you can take them. We'll just pretend that we didn't, you know, really see that you bought them like it was the same shoes that someone else put aside. And I was like, really? And and I kind of like, I was shocked and I was in, I was shocked in, in, in terms of like, hey, I can get these shoes and they're quite cheap and these are the ones that I really, really wanted. Now let me show you. Listen. There were the box and everything. Um, let's pack the box. So they came with this little Jimmy Choo kind of book. Um, I don't know where you can see it. Yes. And then there's a dust bag. And they were so well packed. Like, let me. <laughs> I've opened these so many times. And okay. Here they are. Before I go on with the story, we need to unpack these babies because what? What? Okay, let me show it them to you. I don't think you can see them. Can you see them? Yes, there they are. My small, small babies. All right, um, so let's put them there. These were the ones that I had been eyeing on all platforms out there, like to get a cheap Jimmy Choo shoe and something that looked like these shoes. I just love them and I knew that they would just fit perfectly with my dress. Um, and I tried them and they're like a size 39 and they've never been used come on now come on girl like the way I felt like God was just there for me and God loves me in all types of ways um, I tried them and they were like oh they're pretty on you and blah 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 and I was like yeah I wish and my boyfriend was like listen are you listening to what they're saying they're saying you can take them you can purchase them you can buy them and I was like yeah but unfortunately he was like no 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 listen you you can purchase them and I was like, really? And um, we ended up picking up these and I was absolutely in love. Like, you guys don't know how, like I started crying. I was crying the moment I was paying uh, for the shoes because I ended up picking two pairs of shoes for the price of one. Um, let me look at this. Look at this. Aren't they gorgeous? I really like because also I am a girl who loves pearls. I've already worn them for my dress um, fitting, so don't worry about that. But I'm, I'm just I love pearls. I think there is something so classic about pearls. Um, I loved that they were so easily designed, but still had this you know thing very playful uh, thing, and the heel is not too high, so they were just perfect. And then I got them. Um, let me show you the other one. They also came in a box um, with the same thing, you know, like um, like with the same packaging, dust bag, and all right. So here they are. Those are the white ones that I tried on first to begin with. I was like, okay, if they don't have the ones that I want, I'm just going to end up with these. Um, I don't know whether you can see them properly, but um, yeah. So they're a bit shiny and they're too white, um, actually, to the compared to my dress but I was like it is still Jimmy Choo and I had promised myself all these years that I was going to wear Jimmy Choo's on my wedding day so and they're also like they're not used um and I got them I got them to go and uh I ended up paying 1000 
something I think it was 1800 or something like that which is a crazy price compared to the price of these you know both of these shoes wedding shoes it was the most insane purchase you can tell that you know, the two different colors on the shoes like um, these are like very white and I think this is eggshell if not champagne white um, I don't know the, the, what, the name of the color but they fit perfectly with the color of my dress like now you know um so yeah i really wanted to come on and just tell you the story about how i found my wedding shoes um and i am just i i was head over heels i was so happy and um yeah so these are my wedding shoes and i really hope that it happens to you as well it is the best feeling ever the way i cried on my way home and i called my sister and I called my mom and they were like how is it possible that you can get those shoes like i thought you were on a budget i was like no i actually went on a flea market and i ended up having my shoes no but they're amazing they're gorgeous and i don't i don't remember whether i still have the um the ASOS one that I was uh, planning to purchase. Yeah, so basically I was trying to get these because you can see that that they kind of look and resembles the ones that I wanted. But unfortunately, my size was sold out. <laughs> and I was like, damn it, shoe. And I was, you know, I was on the edge of just like crying myself to sleep because what? But then I didn't know. Like, God had something else in stores for me. Like, guys, God had something else in stores for me. And I was like, when you plan, God has his own plans. So uh, that was really the best purchase that I have done in so many years. Um, and uh, they don't know what kind of girl is happy out there. I think they knew because they saw me crying when they sell, they sold me these shoes. Um, so yeah, got my wedding shoes and I cannot wait to show you the entire outfit uh, for my wedding day. I still, I used to have um, a, a second outfit that I, I was going to wear in, you know, in the evening after the wedding and everything, but I've put on some weight. And I don't think that I can fit it anymore, so I am very nervous. Um, but yeah, let's wait and see. And I will like, I think from now on, the content is going to be around the wedding stuff and it's going to be about traveling a little bit because we're traveling in less than two weeks, I think. So it's going to be very exciting and I'll take you with me. Um, but for now, I just wanted to show you my, my beautiful, beautiful um shoes um and that was it for me i thank you so much for staying and sharing this moment with me i really hope that you share and subscribe and like and comment on my videos until next time i have been your girl simire see you bye